Now, there are many reasons why you might want to export with a transparent background. The most common, the one I ask about all the time from my other videos, they don't want to continually have to make their like and subscribe animated button by dropping out the green screen every single time. Now, right here is the example of that. Here's that like and subscribe button. And yeah, you don't want to do it every single time. So I'm going to show you how to export with a transparent background. So you can do it once, you can store it on your computer. And then from here on out, it, you just drag and drop the like button and subscribe button over and over for every project. Now, just in case this is new to you right here, uh, to get rid of this green screen, you just go to open effects, you find 3D gear, you drag it and you drop it onto your clip. Now that you're on that clip, go ahead and have it selected, pick the drop down, and make sure you pick open effects overlay. Now, once you have that and you have your clip selected, come to the inspector, click effects, and just click anywhere out in this green right here. It's a perfectly even green, so you don't have to draw a long line like this or anything. You can literally just click in one spot and get rid of the green. Now, I always come to matte finesse. I'll drag this over to approximately the same area that the pre-filter is at. You can see that get, got rid of some of the green around here. Drag the despill over and you see the rest of the green went away. So now we have our like and subscribe button with the background officially gone. Just to go ahead and show you that, we'll drag our B-roll underneath. And you can see perfectly clear the like and subscribe button pops up. And we'll just say hypothetically, you could actually change the size of this right now too, to exactly where pretty much the spot you'd always want it in all your videos. And when we go ahead and render it out in just a second, it will be exactly there every time you drag it and drop it. So there we go. We got our like and subscribe button in the upper right hand corner. Now, in order to export as a transparent background video, go over to the deliver tab and make sure that's the only thing in your timeline right now. Click the deliver tab. Uh, we're going to pick a name. We'll go animated like and sub. Perfect right there. Now, right here, you have to select this exact stuff. You have to select QuickTime. This quite often right here will be on H.264. This is gen generally where it will be. You have to click GoPro Cineform. And then right here, it'll come up as 10 bit. You have to change that to RGB 16 bit. And once you did, you've seen it drop a little bit further and export alpha right here. Go ahead and check that off. Once that's checked off, go ahead and add it to your render queue right up here and click render all. And it'll render out just like an any ordinary video with the exception of now you can use this unlimited amount of times. Now we'll go ahead and delete this from here and we'll go ahead and drop our B roll down. And I'm going to go over and grab the actual file from uh, inside my computer. So here it is. We'll drag it and drop it and we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit as well. Animated like and subscribe button. You see it right there and it's going to be in the upper right hand corner right there. So you'll never have to worry about dragging and dropping out that green screen again. On top of that, if you want to, you can come on and create a power bin. Look up what power bins are. That way it'll save it right inside DaVinci Resolve. Go ahead and remove that one. Didn't want that there. Now that we have this, if I drag this and drop this inside the power bin, boom, animated like and subscribe movie. It saves that link to the file in your actual files permanently. So from now on, anytime you're in under your normal master uh, bin up over here. Here's your power bin. Click here, drag and drop it down. Boom. That's all you have to do now to get your like and subscribe button uh, ready to go for your projects. Now, if this saved you a ton of time, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe up for future DaVinci Resolve tips.